I chose engineering at a fairly early age. Uh, when I was in grade school, I was uh, drawn to the sciences and the mathematics. Uh, my dad worked for a utility company. I was able to uh, meet a lot of uh, electric power engineers. Got quite interested in the transmission and distribution of electric power. So I grew up uh, during the Apollo project. I had my uncle Jack Kelly who worked for IBM. He was a project engineer, and he worked on computers that helped to put man on the moon. He explained the concept of RAM memory to me for those computers, um, and I think that's where I first got the bug for mechanical engineering. I grew up in the Royal Air Force. My father was there, his grandfather. I started working on uh, vehicles at a very early age, so I think that's where I got my taste for working with tools. So I guess I was always interested in math and science as a kid, and it was something that I enjoyed doing, and I decided in, uh, in high school that I wanted to be a civil engineer. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, we used to have a water pump. Water pump uh, basically is an IC engine, just like a car engine. So it used to fail every now and then. One of my uncle used to come and uh, fix those engines. But every time he wants to fix, he will open the cylinder, valves and all those things. And he will always need some wrenches and screwdrivers. And he will used to send me all over the place to get me this wrench, get me that one. So that's how I got interested in, uh, I know, equipment, how to fix things, and then I started playing around with uh, some radio circuits and things like that. I wanted to, to do something that was productive to society, but at the same time was exciting and fun, and uh, power engineering has been all of that for me over the last uh, three decades. Once you have a credential, once you have your license as an engineer, there's a great deal of portability and you have the foundation, the basis for functioning in a, in a variety of manners. Mechanical engineering, uh, our domain is, uh, we are applied physicists, so we deal with Newton's world primarily, although there are some mechanical engineers that work at the subatomic level. Um, so Newton's laws of motion are really important to us. Um, mechanisms, uh, physical objects uh, with movement, you know, static, dy dynamic movement. Um, so that's, uh, you know, the electrical engineering is kind of a newer uh, engineering profession. Uh, we've been around for about 130 years as a formal profession in New York State. Probably one of the most uh, rewarding parts of our business is the fact that we can, we can design infrastructure, but we can also see it physically be built. So it's sort of the fruits of our labor. Are, are very visual and when you see an old building or you see an old uh, bridge that looks like it's in lousy condition and as an engineer you can come in and, and design a solution and see that solution be constructed, I think that's very rewarding for a, for a career. You're, you're just a part of the, the background. I mean, people flip the switch and expect the light to go on. People turn the faucet and expect clean water to be there. But it takes an engineer to make these things happen, and uh, it's good to be a part of something that's so important for society.